today we're going on a six mile run. Let's do it. I'm breaking in the new running shoes. Still gotta relace them, but I'll do that when I get home. These trees looking good. If you guys enjoy this new style of editing, a little bit more edited video, let me know in the comments below. Takes a little bit more time, but I think the result is a lot cooler. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you think. We've hit three, time to turn around, head back. We're almost back, but I think there's something on the lens, so let me just clean up. There we go. Should be a little bit cleaner. All right, so task one of the day, done. We've gone on a run. Now I need to relace my shoes. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that right here, right now. So I already did it to my old shoes, but you probably can't see it because they are completely blacked out but basically there's a loop right here that you create with your shoelaces and you send the opposite lace through and then when you lace it back together it pulls the back forward so there's no slippage whatsoever on your heel it should be a bit easier to see with this shoe since it's bright green but pretty much this is how it comes laced already just like this and you want to take the lace it's going to be through the first hole and you want to take it and send it through the second hole here. Once you do that on both sides, you're going to have two loops right here, either side, kind of look like bunny ears. You're going to take the opposite shoelace, the one that's on this side, and you're going to send it through the opposite hole going through the front end towards the toe of the shoe. And it's going to come out the back end towards the heel of the shoe. You're gonna do that with both laces. Now you're gonna have something that looks like this and you should just be able to pull them tight now and then lace them like normal laces right here. So this is what you have right here. You have your two loops, laces sent through the front end, out the back end. And then when you have a foot in there, you just pull it all together like that. And then you can just do a normal knot on top of that. Just like that and then you're good it's nice and tight on the heel and it feels good all around now I've done it to both shoes so we're good to go so if you were just here for the shoes part of the vlog then you can click off now but don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out but if you want to stick around for some more fun we have a timed mile and then later on we're gonna go fishing so stick around for that I thought it was me that was doing time mile. It's actually my brother. I don't know if he's ever ran before. We'll see what happens. He's trying to get under six. I'm probably gonna be the rabbit. Last couple laps, maybe. Try to get him to finish strong. You know? Here he comes. Right over there. Timed mile, complete. I ran a 5.03 today, pretty decent. For just kind of running out of nowhere, I didn't think I would be running today, but I ended up doing pretty well, running a 5.03. So now the plan is to bike 
to Grouse Ridge. The last step of the day, the last task of the day. I just had Chipotle, so my stomach is full. So I need to let that digest a little bit before I bike 12 miles to there. And I need to get my fishing pole somehow like attached to my bike. And then we should be good to go. Do a little bit of fishing to end the day. It'll be whoa, pretty fun. See you guys there. 12 miles later, we are here. This lake is very clear. We're gonna go fish it a little bit. We're gonna head to the dam. See what we can catch. I'll update you guys if we find anything, but we also have an hour bike ride left. So that should be fun. Doses. All right, here's the plan. There's this drain thing in the middle of the lake over here, on top of the dam. And down here, there's a tunnel that goes into the middle of it. So we're gonna check that out. See if we can get into under the lake and see what it looks like. Should be pretty cool. All right, we're in. We are in. Got a Batman thing. It's dry over here. Oh, that's Bro, we're going into the, we're going under the lake right now. Bro, this is like those tunnel, those like tunnel videos where people explore tunnels. Yeah. But we can see the other side. What? <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> what the heck? Can you guys see this? <laughs> Holy. Oh, no, is it bad? Like, is there any spot under there where it's not wet? No. I'll bet you can get in there. Like, you can go in there here and just like dry. You think so? Oh. Ready? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. Bro, we're in! We're in like, oh god, I'm getting so wet. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. But guys, we have done it. We have completed the three tasks for today. Go on a run, timed mile, and now bike to Grouse Ridge. That was about a 21 mile bike ride there and back. So it's pretty far. And for those of you who didn't quite catch it, I'm gonna show you again where exactly we went under that tunnel. Uh, we started over here at this entrance point and then we went under the dam and then ended up over here in this cage thing under the lake. This morning our run was six miles. Uh, the timed mile was just one mile. And then we did 21 miles this afternoon on the bike ride. So that is a total of 28 miles for the day. Pretty good. <laughs> My body is very worn out from that. I'm really tired. Um, I'm about to go to bed. But before I do that, I need to end the video. And all I want to say is, let me know if you want me to go back to Grouse Ridge and do anything cool. It's a public boating area, so we can go kayaking, or we could go back down in that tunnel or do something, uh, go fishing, anything. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. It helps the algorithm and lets everybody see my videos on their recommended page so more people can see these videos. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It'll be right here after I end the video. Um, so hit that. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.